Perl tutorial part 30 using the glob function to read directories. Now the glob function is similar to the read directory function in the previous tutorial only that we can get files that match a certain extension so all the text files from a folder for example so I've created this folder in our um, working directory here, directory 1. It contains a couple of text files, a CGI file, and a couple of image files. So let's use glob to read this directory. So create an array called files equals the function glob. Now we want to glob our directory 1. So let's type in directory 1. And now let's first of all just glob all the files in that folder. So we do that like this by putting this star in here and then if we print our array let's uh, run this okay so we get a list of the five files in this folder including the directory and path so a file.cgi, file.txt, file2.txt, image.bitmap, and image2.bitmap. Now the special thing about the glob function is if we add in our extension here, we can glob only the files of a particular extension. So let's glob only the text files. And let's run this. So we get our two text files, file.txt and file2.txt. Next I'd like to show you just a slightly different way of doing exactly the same thing. So we're going to push onto our array files Two. It's a new array. Glob. Directory one. Like so. And that will give us exactly the same result. So let's run this. And let's say uh, get the bitmap files this time. So we'll put bmp dot bmp after the star and print out our new array. Okay, so that's two styles of doing exactly the same thing. The first one we get the text files, the second one we get the bitmap files. Now if we don't want to create an array of our files in a directory we can actually just print them out so we can print and then we can use the join function and we can join our files just put them on a new line each one then we glob our directory like so and this time let's get the CGI file so we just type in CGI and we'll just print it out we're not making any array we're just going to print out 
Okay, so here's the third third way we've done it using the join function to glob the directory, just the CGI file, and there's the CGI file. Another way we can print out the contents of a directory without having to create an array and also using the default variables like so. We use a while loop while directory1 We don't actually have to state the glob function this way, and then we can just print our default variable like so. And uh, we can set this, say, just to grab the text files like so. And let's run this. And here we get, here's the first text file here, and the second text file there. That's the great function glob. Very useful. And don't, don't forget, you can always grab the contents of the whole directory. And here we have the file.cgi file text, file 2 text, image bitmap and image 2 bitmap, five files by globbing the whole directory. So that's glob.